Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create amazing social media posts. And these aren't gonna be those vacuous, silly posts that you see of like, hashtag fry yay, or hey, what are you doing on the weekend? Posts that add no value. These are gonna be good posts that add value. They're based on, for this one, in fact, I'm gonna show you how it, you can use research or you can use academic studies and add real value to your customers and to your viewers and things like that. So let me show you, let me show you what I'm talking about. First off, let's read the actual prompt. Here it is. Imagine you are a social media expert who knows exactly how to keep an audience engaged with great posts. This is the prompt that we're gonna paste into either ChatGPT or into bing.com directly word for word. I want you to find me current articles and recent studies and recent studies, pardon me, about topic. Notice that topic is in curly brackets. That's because we're going to define all of these at the end. All right, continuing on that I can share with my audience. Again, audience is in bracket. Again, we'll share, we'll, we'll define this later on. Prioritize articles and studies from well-respected sources with high authority. I'm basically saying, hey, find the good stuff. Do your job. <laughs> The links you find must be live links. Double check them to make sure they link to actual articles before sharing them with me. This is very important because in a lot of cases you can get hallucinations or you can get, you know, ChatGPT historically would give you some content, but you click on the link, it doesn't work. So I'm saying, hey, double check your work before you give it to me. Accompany the link with five different comments I can add. The comment should have my tone of voice. And notice that tone of voice is also in brackets. Okay, with all of that out of the way, here we go. Now, here's what you have. I have at the underneath this, I have bracket topic, colon, chat GPT, bracket audience, colon, team leaders in the creative industries, bracket tone of voice, witty and cheeky. Now, these here can be anything you want. Instead of chat GPT, we could make it uh, generative... AI, something like that. It doesn't matter what it is. Instead of team leaders, it could be, you know, whatever your users or, you know, the people that view your posts are, however you define them. Also, you could delete that if you wish. So anyways, here's what I'm going to go with for this. I'm going to take that. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over here to bing.com. So let's just go here. I'll just show you step by step. You go to bing.com. And then if you don't see the chat here, you can click on this B up at the top here and this will open up the chat. I'm gonna set the conversation style to creative. And then here where it says, ask me anything, all you gotta do is copy and paste this in. And you'll see here that I just took it and took it all. I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna come back. It's gonna do its thinking. I'm gonna come back when it's done. I'm gonna show you how good this is and then we'll wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Here's what we got when we put this into the uh, chat in, <clears throat> excuse me, in bing.com. So here we go. Sure, I can help you with that. Here are some current articles and recent studies about generative AI that you can share with team leaders in the creative industries. So remember, we're creating these for, for we're gonna post this on social media, but that is the audience that I defined for this example. Again, you can of course define your audience as you see fit. So here's the first one, the human factor in generative AI and the automation paradox. Notice that it is a link and it's clickable. I'm gonna click it and see what we get. Okay, so it takes us to, uh, you know, it takes us to Forbes.com. And presto, here it is. If we wanted to go ahead and link to this article, we could, so I'll just close it, but there you go, it works. And then here you go, how to make generative AI work for you, not against you. Generative AI is not a threat, it's an opportunity, here's why. So it's just giving us some ideas that we could use for comments or ideas for creating posts around these ideas, again, with links to the individual uh, articles. Here's another one here, Autogen AI, a generative AI tool for writing bids and pitches. All right, let's click on that, see what we got. Takes us to a Yahoo News. And then if you like, hey, this looks pretty good, here's what I'll show you a second step. I'm just gonna go ahead and Command C. I'm gonna copy and paste this link to the article in here. And then I'm gonna go to the bottom and say, hey, write me a social media post for based on this URL and the previous oops discussion. And then I'm gonna copy and paste that in. Watch this. I'll come back when it's done. 
All right, so come on back, here we go. So here are some possible social media posts based on the URL and the previous discussion. Do you struggle with writing bids and pitches for your clients? Don't worry, there's a generative AI tool for that. Meet Autogen AI, the tool that can write winning proposals for you in minutes. And then it gives us a couple of hashtags. I could copy and paste that, drop that right into Twitter and bang, I've got a post. I've also got a link to the article so that we're you know saying, hey, here's our sources. And it is literally that easy. We went from, hey, I've got an idea what I'm looking for. Give me some ideas all the way down to the exact post to the link or to the article or to the study. And this is how you create incredible social media posts. You add a lot of value to your customers, all with just a couple of clicks. Thanks for watching.